There are thousands and thousands of us that dedicate our lives to looking after animals and, and stopping animal exploitation. But what most people don't realise is the fact that even if people think they live a cruelty-free life, the reality is, unless their money is cruelty-free as well, then things start to fall apart. Let me give you an example. If you are protesting um, about the building of a new abattoir, for example, there's a good chance that the company that's building the abattoir either has raised money through issuing shares or has borrowed money from a bank. Your super fund could be buying the shares in that abattoir to help them build it. That's your money, not anyone else's, that's your money that they are using to build that abattoir. Or the bank has lent the company money to build the abattoir and if you bank with the same bank, it's your money. So at the same time as you are standing outside the, the building project, campaigning against the building, your money is being used to actually make it happen. And, and the reality of the world nowadays is more notice will be taken of the fact that you're providing your money to build this thing than all the placard waving and leafleting that you do. So we all care about animals. Let's make sure our money isn't exploiting them at the same time. Which is why if you do lead a vegan lifestyle, you need a vegan friendly super fund to put your money into. And that's where Cruelty Free Super comes in. It's Australia's only animal friendly super fund. More information at cruelty